Module 4.1 Searching for Horses, Trainers, Jockeys, Courses and Races Welcome to Module 4.1 of your Profound Professional Training Course. In this module we will show you how to search all of the above using the search facility and the system builder. How to search and the results shown. Let's dive straight into Proform and have a look. We have Proform open on the welcome screen and you can get to the searches from the search button on the left or from features, search and choose an option from the menus at the top. So we'll choose horse search and you can search for horses that begin with particular letters or which contain the letters you enter here. So for this quick example we'll just type in Cato, click go and all the horses that start with the word Cato are shown on the screen. If you double click any horse you can then choose the horse to drop into the form book or choose the trainer to drop into the trainer details. The next search is races and this works in the same way you can search for race names that begin with certain words or letters or which contain so in this case we'll search for races that contain Grand National we'll click on the go button over on the right and what's returned is all the races in the database that have Grand National in the name we could sort by course scroll back to the top and there we can see the entry Grand Nationals and if we narrow the search slightly and look for Scottish Grand National you can see we get all the Scottish Grand Nationals and a race from Huntingdon that the name of the race had Scottish Grand National in it if we sort by date you can then see the winners of the Scottish Grand National from 1997 onwards the next search we'll do is courses and again you can search for which begin with or which contain so in this case we'll just search for entry click go and this then shows you all the trainer and jockey stats for entry which you can sort by wins, runs, percentage strike rate and profit loss to one pound stake shows you all the jockey stats with the same fields all the R stats so this is all the runners, winners and losers at entry it's already sorted by wins and we can see big bucks is 5 from 5 at entry and trainer and jockey stats so this is the combinations and their performances so we'll now search for jockeys and it's the same rules apply so we'll use which contains and put McCoy in click go this shows us the jockeys with McCoy in the name and we can see Tony McCoy is the top one if we double click him and then down at the bottom from his 13,000 rides and 3,000 winners it shows us all the trainer and jockey stats his career by month and by year we then search by trainer and we'll do which contains Henderson click go so there's three trainers with the word Henderson in the name and in this case we'll look at Paul Henderson, so if we double click we get the jockey stats for this trainer and the horses which are currently trained by Paul Henderson and their record and the career by month and the career by year so that's a brief look at how to use a search facility for horses, races, courses, jockeys and trainers how they work with filters the powerful filter system allows you to narrow the search results with a few clicks. So we're back in Proform and we're on the jockey search results that we did for McCoy. 
at the top of this screen is some quick filters. So if we just wanted to see Tony McCoy's national and flat record, we could untick them all by clicking the all button, just tick national and flat, and then click apply. The screen refreshes, and we can see he's had 191 winners from 891 national and flat rides. And the bottom part of the screen then changes to reflect the trainer stats and the horse stats, and the same on the career by month and year. So everything is affected by the filter we chose. So we could also use the advanced filters to filter by any of the parameters in this screen. So let's say we just want to see Tony McCoy's rides at entry. So we just select entry on the courses, click OK. We've still got national and flat selected, so it's currently his national and flat record at entry. So if we turn all the filters back on, we can then see his overall record at entry. And while we've still got entry set, we could search for other jockeys. So we might say jockeys that begin with A. This then shows you all the jockeys that begin with A. We can size the screen to see more of them. I'll scroll up and down here. Click on winners. And if we double click any jockey, the stats at the bottom are updated. So another way to use this search would be to go back into the advanced filters, press clear to clear all the searches. If we go to the date filters, we could choose two weeks ago as our date and exclude all form before this. Click OK and this now refreshes and shows us all the jockeys that begin with A and their performance in the last 14 days. And if we were to take the A out and just click go, it'll show us all the jockeys' performance in the last 14 days. So we can see Brian J. Cooper's had 11 from 35 for a 31% strike rate. And if we double click the jockey, we can see those trainers he rode for and the horses he rode in that period. And we could further filter if we only wanted to see his chase rides. We just choose chase and apply and that's just the chase rides and the front part of the screen also changes all the jockeys to just chase rides in the last 14 days. And the same filters and rules apply to the trainer search. It has its own set of quick filters but if you have an advanced filter set this has already been filtered down to the last 14 days. So if we take Henderson out of the box and just click go We now get all the trainers and their current performance in the last 14 days. We sort by winners, we can see the top three are the usual suspects. If we only want to see the last 14 days all weather records, just leave all weather ticked, click apply. And this is just the last 14 days, the record of trainers on the all weather. And again, we double click the trainer. The stats at the bottom are reflected for each trainer you click. So using the quick and advanced filters, you can do some quite complex filtering against trainers and jockeys. Using the system builder to perform similar searches. You can use the system builder to perform the same searches with the added search of trainer jockey combination. Also, by using the presentation tab, you can filter the search results by thousands of parameters. So we're back in Proform. We'll open the System Builder. We'll hide the buttons and size the middle part of the screen so we get two sets of tabs. And then we'll do the same search we've been looking at. So last 14 day records we want. And we'll present by trainer and then click run system and we see the trainers in alphabetical order and their records in the last 14 days and we can sort by winners and any of the other columns and if we go back to presentations 
we can do by jockey click run and there's the jockey's records in the last 14 days and then we've got the added option in the system builder of train and jockey combinations so we click that choose run and we see the train and jockey combinations in the last 14 days we can then of course do more complicated searches so we'll stick with trainer and jockey combinations but we'll take out last 14 days and look at last five years and we'll just look at one course entry so we've still got trainer and jockey combinations selected and we've now got just entry selected and last five years and if we run the system now we'll return the trainer and jockey combinations at entry over the last five years so sorted by winners we can see the best records for trainer and jockey combinations of entry in the last five years so let's touch on the other searches using the system builder we reset the variables you can search by race name so we can say Grand National again and if we run the system initially it will just show us all the bottom line figures of all the races that have got Grand National in the name so we could filter this further and just look for the entry Grand Nationals by going to the course tab just choosing entry and we know the race is over four miles so we do greater than 7040 which is the yards for four miles which you can see from the lookup table here and we'll present by year click run system and there we can see the Grand Nationals from 1997 to 2012 and we know we've picked the right ones now because there's just one winner each year and if we reset the variables and have a quick look at our searches so where we searched for horses that started with Kato we can do the same in the system builder we just enter Kato and then we enter a wild card which is a star and then if we do present by horse and run the system all the horses starting with Kato are shown similar to the search results when we use the R search facility and again if we reset we have a presentation by course so we could then do course searches and present by course or we could do one jockey for instance and use a course search so we might go back into the horse tab and enter AP McCoy we've just selected by course run the system and this will break down AP McCoy's rides at each course and we can sort by winners and all the other various fields well that's it for module 4.1 training session the search facility and the system builder allow you to analyze horses, trainers, jockeys, courses and races against many parameters. Try more searches and system builder queries. This will help you become familiar with Proform.